Hi there, happy 2021 everyone. <clears throat> what is that? It's the 2nd of uh, January today. First video of the year. I just thought I'd um, got four chair uh, designs designed by somebody else and uh, I, I remodeled them as uh, modeling challenges uh, sort of early in 2020. I just thought I'd um, quickly go over uh, how I approached each model. So this is the Vectra Howl chair designed by Jasper Morrison. So this is the final result, the uh, modeling exercise. So if I just go back, I basically imported a um, a mesh file that was available online, which happened to be a bit, a bit lumpy and bumpy, um, and then created some base curves based on that mesh file. See there, there's the mesh. Um, and once I created the base curves, I started um, blocking on the primary surfaces. I'll just roll through here. Some of these are um, sort of dead end avenues. I went in um, up trying to do blends around tricky areas. Um, yeah, anyway. So there I've started with the main base surface, which is built as a uh, edge surf. Four, four curves um, and it's multi-span in the V direction just because if I, I didn't want to have it as, um, as a single span surface because I had to have more points because uh, getting the curvature through the, the bum area was going to be difficult to achieve without otherwise I would have had to break it up into three surfaces okay this is probably the more tricky area on the chair so I, I tried many different approaches in this area. I'll flick through a few of them. So I'm pretty sure in the end I went for a an overbuilt surface and then trimmed it back with the inside boundary um, to end end up with the inside surface. See here. And then just um, created full sided surfaces around the arm and up the back of the arm. I did go back and rework some of these uh, surfaces as I sort of uh, work through different scenarios, different ways of doing it. I worked out a decent patch layout. You can see there I've gone from a single patch here to like a big swoopy thing. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I was doing there. Some kind of trimmed layout. Okay, I think this is where I ended up with a um, Four sided surface here with two smaller patches underneath. One of my limitations for this was uh, try and turn the model around in a week amongst other things, having the kids stuck at home and stuff during lockdown. So, uh, okay, so once I finished the front, I thickened the part, added this um, edge localized thickening detail that runs right around the chair and then added blends on those mirrored the part over and then finally created the underside structure it's a fairly lightweight model. Um, obviously the little fillets and blends around the edges make things heavier but I tried to keep the main patch structure fairly light. There is some complexity up here. Just going to run a zebra analysis but back here.
a few wiggles up here probably do that area better um, it's fairly happy with how the front turned out here it wasn't a very simple area to um, transition between the vertical arm front and the seat pan There you go, that's the Vitra Hell chair designed by Jessica Morrison, modelled in Rhino. Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Thanks very much.